Hey everyone, in today's video, it's all about the Sigma 105 f1.4 DG HSM art lens. This right here, this this is a lens, not a coffee mug. Right off the bat, let's talk about the build quality. This lens is made to last long. I mean, look at look, look at the size of this lens. This weighs one kilo and a half. So I've been using this lens for the past couple of days, and I'm gonna tell you all about the weight later on in this video. But this is made of metal combination of a little bit of a plastic this this focus ring is made of plastic of course and then in in, in the middle middle of the lens is still plastic and then on the bottom it's pure metal so this one this one right here is metal and the gasket is also metal for the weather ceiling so if you're shooting outdoor and you you splash it in water and stuff it's still gonna be fine the front of the lens is say 105 millimeter thread so that's huge. My first impression of the lens is I was like, what the f is this lens is so big? It's like a plate where you put your sauce and everything. Let's talk about the specs of the lens. It is F1.4, it is very fast. The low light performance is king. This lens is the king of bokeh on Sigma website. If you check it out right now, it's that. And it is the king of bokeh. I'm using a Sony a7 IV body paired with this lens and it's just amazing. The autofocus never miss. I always shoot in burst mode during wedding ceremony and it never fails me. These photos are taken using a burst mode, high burst mode, and it's just amazing look at the quality of these photos they are really really tack sharp very reliable when it comes to the focus and when it comes to taking photos you don't have to worry about a thing because the lens will do half of the focusing for you I've shot using this lens 4K, 60, 4K, 30, whatever it is that I throw at it, it's, it can handle anything, really. As you can see in this video sample, I'm doing a rack focus of Geralt and it's just amazing. Now I have another video sample, it's an event that I shot here in United Arab Emirates and this is shot in 4K log 3 and it never fails. This, these, these shots are all on a tripod. I did not try to balance this lens on a gimbal. I'm pretty sure that my RSC2 will not handle the payload of this lens. It's just really heavy. My setup is always two camera, one telephoto lens and the other one is the wide angle lens, which is the 24 1.4 from Sigma as well. And then I paired it with the Sigma 105 f1.4. It's the perfect combination when it comes to weddings. I don't know. I never, I never had a, I didn't complain about the weight. I mean, yes, when you're doing this like this, it's heavy, right? So you can see the footprint of the of the whole camera. It's big, it's huge. But when you settle it down, leave it hanging on your side, it's not gonna bother you because the weight is all over your shoulder. Maybe it's the strap that I'm using, the one that is the cheapest one in Amazon. Link down below if you wanna check that one out. All right, so that's uh, bring us to the topic where if you should buy this lens and in my opinion, yes, you should. I actually told Sigma that I'm in love with this lens and I thank them for sending me this lens. It's just amazing. I know I have the 85 mil. Now I can never go back with the 85 mil because of the extra focal length that gives me with this. I always choose this 105 over the 85 because of the extra focal length. If the price is not an issue for you, definitely you should buy the 105 millimeter 1.4 takes really sharp photos. It's great in low light. The autofocus is amazing. It's just really, it's a class S lens. And if you already have a 70 to 200, it doesn't make any sense for you to get this one. But if you want a prime lens, 1.4 telephoto, this lens is a beast. And it's worth all your money if you're gonna buy this lens. Hope this helps you decide if you're buying this behemoth lens i mean it's not behemoth it's nice it's thank you for watching this video comment down below if you have any questions like i said hit me up if you want to collab here in united arab emirates and as always have a nice day